Hi there, I'm Roger Johnson. It is January 16th, 2018. I'm in Appleton, Wisconsin today. More specifically, I'm at Houdini Plaza, named for the world-famous magician, Harry Houdini. Houdini often claimed that Appleton, Wisconsin was his birthplace. It wasn't. Uh, he was born in Hungary, and at a very early age, his family moved to the United States, uh, specifically here to Appleton. The plaza is not the site of where his home was, where they, where they lived when he was just a boy. Uh, the only connection, as far as I can tell, there's a little historic marker over here, uh, and if you can read it through the snow and the ice and everything, if I read it correctly, uh, there was once a photography studio here, and they believe that the earliest known uh, photograph of Harry Houdini was taken at that uh, studio that stood at this site. Otherwise, it's just a, uh, hey, let's honor our native son uh, by naming a plaza after him. Not much to uh, go out of your way for, but if you're in Appleton, sure, swing on by. The main attraction, however, is the Museum at the Castle. Uh, it was once, I believe, called the Houdini Museum. Uh, just down the road here, it used to be a Masonic Lodge. Really neat old building if you love neat old buildings. And uh, inside there, they've got uh, an exhibit on Harry Houdini along with a bunch of other stuff. I wandered through those, but primarily I wanted to see the Houdini stuff. Spoiler alert, they do reveal how Houdini did some of his some of his tricks some of his escapes uh, so if you don't want to know stop watching the video right now and uh, go watch one of my other fine videos youtube.com slash rrj usa uh, but if you want to watch uh, I don't explain a whole lot in this video but uh, but you might see something you don't want to see if you're not interested in, in knowing how it all works and you want to be amazed and surprised because uh, that is always fun but uh, it's cool, you go in there and they've got a jail cell door and there's a hidden key. Uh, Houdini would go in pretty much almost completely naked. He'd be searched so they couldn't, so he didn't have any place that he could have hide, hidden the key, but he would swallow keys. He'd, uh, well, the other end was used. Uh, he'd, he'd bribe guards and things like that so that they could bring him his picks and keys and different things. And, uh, so anyway, but you go inside the jail cell door and there's a key hidden in there. And so you find the key and you pull it out and you can unlock the door. They've got uh, shackles and handcuffs that you, that you can try and pick the locks on. Uh, milk, milk can escape. Uh, I wasn't able to get in there. I'm not that flexible. And maybe kind of figure out how, uh, how he was able to do it. Uh, other neat, neat attractions that, uh, you know, very hands-on, which was really cool. Uh, the, couple of the tricks uh, you needed an, an assistant for. I was going to wanted to try out the straight jacket, but I wasn't able to do that because you do need somebody to, to uh, strap you in the back. And they just use Velcro and stuff, so it's not like an official one, but you can uh, try and uh, follow the directions and, uh, and, and get out of that. So a lot of fun. Uh, if you're ever here in eastern Wisconsin, if you're from eastern Wisconsin and you've not checked out the, uh, the museum at the castle, uh, do it. It's really fun. Uh, so. Till next time, I'm Roger Johnson from Appleton, Wisconsin. I just need to need to figure out how to uh, escape this cold.